I'm about to go down winter today. It's gonna be epic. I'm going 11 meter, uh, still pretty big, but not 17 like this crazy cute. Oh, the wind looks kind of good. I'm, I'm rigging a 12, which is probably a little big for where we are right now, but I'd rather be a little powered and not drop my kite later on. It's such a wide range. You know, we've had twin tips win it, race boards win it, surf boards. Um, I've won it plenty of times on pair of combo water skis, and I'll be using those same 35 year old water skis today. That's the record setting water skis, so why not give them another shot? When I started, I was told I was the first one doing it, and there, about that same time, there was Theo Schmidt from Switzerland trying it in England and Switzerland. Uh, there was the Legay New Brothers in France um, tinkering mostly with sit down rafts and trikes and on land stuff. Um, so it kind of emerged out of the late 80s and then kites got better and through the 90s it like the the sport matured in the late 80s they called it the budweiser blowout because budweiser beer sponsored it around 2002, 2003, it was the Gorge Games blowout. It was part of the Gorge Games, the greatest outdoor sporting event ever. And then it's been the CGKA blowout more recently. The local High Board Association sponsored it. And now it's the Bolstad blowout. Have fun. My first blowout was 1988, and I came in about 20th out of 200 windsurfers. And the next year, in 89, there were a bunch of pros, Nevin Sayer, Robbie Nash, and all these guys, and same, you know, big 200-person starting line. I started in last and worked my way up and finished right in front of the leader, but I was, again, I was disqualified because I wasn't using a windsurfer. My dad was a Boeing engineer who had these ideas of using kites to tow hydrofoils and going faster than the wind speed and setting world speed sailing records. Which, to a teenager, that sounds great. Yeah, show me the power and I'll, I'll turn on the gas. It's better than Christmas. It, for me, it's the best day of the year. Especially when it's windy, because um, when it's record setting, everybody's getting fully powered, blown off their boards, it's a lot of fun. stopped in Swell City, I was like, I have to play in here a little bit. And then I remember, I was like, oh yeah, I'm racing. Swell City is swells. It's the swells are big there, but there's a lot of windsurfers and you gotta go get through them. And there are a couple that try to aim for you. I thought the competition part of it was pretty fun. I was trying to keep up with these two girls all the time. The blowout is an awesome event with the Christian God's kind of totally do it again. I definitely got in my own little zone there for after a while. 
48 competitors. We had 44 cross the line. That's our best number ever. Congratulations to everyone. Cool. Right off the bat, the first person that came across, we all have to give a big round of applause to my man, Corey Rodler. One person who definitely, this was a race, but one person entered it, didn't take it very serious as a race, took it very serious to help other people out there. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to give a $25 gift certificate to the local bar to John Bam Bam. And coming in in third place with 76 points, no big points scored, was Eric Reinstra's team. Yeah. Coming in with 63 points, <laughs> as well as getting the first place overall, Corey Rosler's team. Yeah. And in first place, in case you haven't guessed it, with 60 points total, coming in third overall, 12th overall, 16th overall, and 29th overall, Brandon Chide's team. Thanks for watching. I'd say the competition level has progressed a lot in the last few years. The pro event from the 2012 Bridge of the Gods Kite Festival is coming soon. It is the most beautiful day today. The wind couldn't be any warmer.